the new member of the Huawei Mate series aims to take on other flagship giants but for the fraction of the cost. And if Huawei gets it right again this time, they might continue the streak that started from the Nova 2i. With that said, we're excited to see if the Huawei Mate 10 has what it takes to take the brand further. Hi guys, this is Patrick Nete from NotGeeks.com and this is our full review of the Huawei Mate 10. I'll state this right away, the Huawei Mate 10 is one of the most gorgeous looking device around. It is a step up from last year's Mate 9 and a real contender that can go against the likes of the Galaxy Note 8 or even the LG V30. Huawei joins the bandwagon by sandwiching the Mate 10 with glass on front and back. The addition of what Huawei is calling the stripe highlights is also giving it a unique and signature look. And together with the mocha brown color finish that we have here, the Huawei Mate 10 is really a pleasure to look at. But not until it gets bombarded with fingerprints. You can either wipe it every 5 minutes, snap on the included protective case, or just simply ignore it completely. But the thing is, the device feels large in the hands. This is probably because it uses a 16x9 screen instead of 18x9 that most manufacturers are now implementing on their devices. Still, I gotta hand it to Huawei for making the side bezels almost non-existent. The top and bottom corners were just slim enough to house all the necessary hardware. At the bottom, we see a sheet of glass that protected in metal that acts as a home button slash fingerprint scanner. No more mechanical button, but unlike the iPhone, it is not pressure sensitive. It can do gesture controls by swiping or tapping it, but basically that's it. Inside the device is powered by Huawei's own Kirin 970 octa-core processor with 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of internal storage, and a Mali G720 processor. Huawei is also introducing what they're calling the NPU or the Neural Network Processing Unit which is built right in on the chipset. The said NPU will handle all of the device's AI computations and with artificial intelligence, Huawei is claiming that it can provide a more fast and efficient performance. And during our testing, it appears that it really does. The interface was fast, flicking through social media apps was fast, games run at good frame rates, and to sum it up, the Kirin 970 is a reliable chipset. It also appears that the processor is kind to the battery. During a day of real-world usage, I was still left with around 25% of charge left with its 4000 mAh battery. The display resolution was also set to Full HD out of the box instead of Quad HD. Most users would barely notice the difference so Huawei opted to use the lower resolution so it consumes less battery. But during my testing, the difference on battery consumption on both Full HD and Quad HD is pretty insignificant. And speaking of the display, what we have here is a 5.9 inch IPS screen with a sharp resolution of 2560 by 1440 has 449 pixels per inch and with HDR10 technology. It would have been nice to see an OLED panel on this thing but I think some corners are needed to be cut to keep the pricing competitive. Still, the IPS panel on the Mate 10 looks impressive. The colors are great with good vibrancy and the contrast is also top notch for an IPS panel and since we're using a 1440p display, the sharpness is just on point. The device also has a stereo speaker setup as the earpiece doubles as a loudspeaker, providing good stereo separation when watching movies. And another thing to like about the Huawei Mate 10 is its interface. It is one of the first few devices to run Android 8.0 Oreo out of the box with Huawei's own EMUI 8.0 on top. The interface is clean, the items on the settings menu are well grouped together, even the lock screen looks minimalistic. And lastly, you gotta love that Leica camera system. The Huawei Mate 10 boasts a 12 megapixel RGB camera sensor and another 20 megapixel monochrome camera. Both have a wide aperture of 1.6, with the 12 megapixel sensor getting an optical image stabilizer treatment. The monochrome effect looks pretty authentic. The contrast has just the right blend to bring character to the images. And since it's a 20 megapixel sensor, the sharpness is just incredible. On the other and the 12 megapixel sensor can also produce stunning images. The colors look vibrant, the contrast is impressive, and the dynamic range is one of the best that I have seen. 
Also, thanks to its AI processor, the camera can analyze the frame in real time and instantly adjust the settings to match the scene. The bokeh mode feature also offers a pretty believable depth of field effect. The subject isolation really looks believable, which in return provides a really cool look to your portraits. Speaking of which, the portrait mode also works on the 8 megapixel front camera. The selfies taken has great details, good colors, and decent dynamic range. So, did the Huawei Mate 10 keep the momentum going for the company? Well, the answer is a definite yes. It might not be the best flagship smartphone around, but if you consider all the aspects, especially the price, the Huawei Mate 10 is a one tough beat. The design is captivating, the display together with the stereo speakers provide a good viewing experience and also it has one of the best smartphone camera in the market today. Still, I do think that using an AMOLED panel instead of IPS would have been better. Also, it looks like Huawei is also being left out in the Face ID race. But at the end of the day, I do think that the Huawei Mate 10 is a good all-around device. And if you're thinking on upgrading your Android smartphone or you're an iPhone user who's planning to jump ship, then you might want to consider the Huawei Mate 10. Again, this has been Patrick Neta from NoiPX.com. For more detailed look about this device, you can check out our full written review link below. Don't hit the thumbs up button, share this video if you liked it, and subscribe if you still haven't. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And yeah, thank you for watching.